so, uh, the day has come. They're making a Zelda movie. What do I have to say about that? <clears throat> well, with me being a Harry Potter nerd, this is, I'm just holding this because, um, a lot of my videos, you'll see me twirling it around as like a fidget thing. Um, if it's distracting, let me know in the comments and I'll stop. What do I keep hearing? I keep hearing like a dripping sound or something. Anywho, <clears throat> so a Zelda movie. What would I want for it? With adaptions of a movie, from a, or of a game to a movie, I don't want them. I don't want an adaption. I want an expansion. Think of it. <clears throat> Companies, well, like, for example, Star Wars or Harry Potter, like, because, like, have the older one. Hogwarts Legacy and Hogwarts Mystery are both two video games that were made for the Harry Potter universe. They are considered partially canon. But, if you take a video game and adapt it into a movie, it, or to put it into a movie, it's not canon? It's a bit weird. <clears throat> the main ones I'm thinking of are the Mario movie and the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. The Five Nights at Freddy's movie, that kind of does make sense, because, like, the whole thing of the game franchise is that the game lore, you ha have to decipher, and so it kind of makes sense why it was an adaption of the stuff we already know for sure and have known for sure for years um and i just noticed how visible my craft cracked lip is anyway i'm kind of going off topic a bit <clears throat> uh but the mario movie is also like of course not canon because there is no real story to mario but what they could have done instead was at least introduce something new that would become a staple of the Mario series, or at least attempt to. They didn't. They just were like, Hey, we made a movie based off the Mario franchise. Are you happy? <clears throat> and so the Mario movie was enjoyable, but was it a good movie? No. It was more focused on fans being like, <laughs> <laughs> I get that reference. And I will admit, I was doing that in the theater when I saw it. Um, I was like, oh, yeah, I get that reference. Mario Kart, Rainbow Road OST. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I was geeking out in the theater. Um, and if they were to do a Zelda movie, what I'd want them to do it is kind of like into the Across the Spider-Verse, where it has a bunch of references to the popular IP. But... Is still a standalone thing with them with like a more focus on story equal balance of references that'll make people go oh, <laughs> reference and um uh, and enjoyable good but like what i'd want the zelda movie to do is have the zonai ancient hero be explained and i'd i'd love that but knowing Nintendo, they almost never do what the fans want. Every time they do, the Vikings win the Super Bowl. <laughs> if you know, yeah, it's basically like, uh, Vikings winning the Super Bowl. That's like the Midwest equivalent of when hell freezes over, as I am from the Midwest. Um, specifically Minnesota, so I can poke fun at the Vikings. <clears throat> um, so, like, with, the, with a Zelda movie... I'd want it to explain the ancient zone I hero, and I'd also want it to be live action. Uh, but what we'll probably get is an animated one. Not doing that. Although I, I heard rumors that it probably will be live action, and most people seem to want it to be animated, but I personally like live action better than animation. Plus, have you seen the short film, uh, Terrible Fate, from Majora's Mask? That would look stunning. If they took in the uh, Zelda movie, it would look stunning. If it was like that. Because, um, like, it's realistic CGI animation. But you can tell it's CGI because it's... Like, you, you can tell it's CGI, but, like, it would blend perfectly in with, like, an Avengers movie or something. It's just that good CGI. That would blend in with realistic settings. With, like, 
a live action movie very well. <clears throat> and having an adaptation would just completely make it unnecessary. You could say, well, it's so people who haven't played the Zelda series can understand it in a different way. Okay, but like, the Zelda movie would be made for the fans. The Mario movie wasn't, like, Mario doesn't have story. And so, like, it was more so for, focused on references. And with the Zelda movie, it is focused on story, so that could be a bit more of an excuse. But, because it's a Zelda movie, it'll appeal to Zelda fans, and Zelda fans have played the games. So, yeah. Really, the only thing I could think about is, like, if I bring one of my family members or one of my friends along to the movie, being like... So, this is the Zelda movie. I love the Legend of Zelda series. Here's some background information before we go into it. That's really the only thing I could think of that would make sense. <clears throat> but I prefer a new story that has never been told before. Like I said, like explaining the ancient Zonai hero. Um, I created my own fan fiction story. I called the Zonai War, as I am an aspiring writer, and so... I used that to create a short little story, and I had mentioned it before on this YouTube channel, asking if anybody wanted me to do a video on it, but nobody responded, because, like, this is a channel with 400 subscribers, and it gets very little views, so, I don't know, maybe I still will do it, <clears throat> um, but, like, the zone I wore was used to explain the, uh, explain how Breath of the Wild and Tear, oh, my zone I wore, uh, thing was supposed to explain how Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom could fit into the Zelda timeline, with the inclusion of the game Hyrule Warriors, not Age of Calamity. But it has zero basis. It's just a story I created. It's not a theory. It's a story. Because, like, there's no basis. It's just a story. Another, th like, another story I have, which is actually a theory, is to do with Harry Potter about a muggle-born... Okay, I'm getting off topic. I gotta get back on topic. I gotta work on that. Anyhow, so, bottom line is, and if you're thinking I'm trying to stretch out this video to the eight minute mark so then I could get monetized, I'm not monetized on this channel. By the way, let's wait for 10 seconds of silence. You happy? There we go. We reached the eight minute mark. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. But anyway, I don't really have anything else to say. So, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoy what I had to say about my opinions on the Zelda movie. And one final thought is that I will... I would prefer a Zelda TV show. <coughs> that Because, like, Zelda is too big for a movie, I'd say. So, thanks for watching. <laughs>